one more fight to go in this live session. Rabazan uh, Pagliani in the uh, blue corner from Turkey. And uh, Bezat Satakanov of Kazakhstan. There he is. Uh... Uh, Pagliani, a very decent technician, but he's not really shown his best form yet so far in these uh, Olympic Games. And I just wonder when he's going to start to turn it on. But he's been doing enough to win. So Pagliani from Turkey in the blue corner, the uh, bronze medalist in the World Championships last year at Houston in Texas, Satakhanov from uh, Kazakhstan. Former silver medalist at World Championships. Pagliani in the blue had a real close one against Haider of Pakistan, 5-4 in the opening round, and then uh, had a stoppage win in the second round against Vladimir dos Santos Pereira of Brazil. He looks useful, doesn't he, Salakarnov? Yes, he does. A win against uh, Bobby Mamat overdue Tiberio of Romania, 14-8, and another points win in his second round match against Jeffrey Madabulu of South Africa. Oh, lovely left cross there from Pagliani. Didn't score. Yes, wide open there, Pagliani to Sadakanov's follow-up right. Trading follow-up punches at the moment. The winner of this, a reminder, will take on uh, Tahir Tam Zamani. And at the moment, neither looks capable of beating him. No, he's a very busy young fellow, isn't he? We've got the light welders, the light middles, light heavies, and uh, the super heavies. And we'll record the fight between Frederick Esther and uh, Marin Simeon. Because that should be uh, a wonderful fight. That's at light middle. And a reminder that later on tonight, we have uh, Audley Harrison going up against Alexei Mazakin. Difficult to give you a precise timing, but I think around 11.45 is our final session of the morning live for you here we've got another session at 9 30 uk time 10 30 central european but 11 45 uk that's 12 45 central european the uh, final segment of our live shows and in that we will have audley harrison going for his medal against alexei mazakin of the ukraine back to this so selling paliani there is uh, well as you can see a point behind we'll just actually come back and uh, Ramazan Pagliani is a very useful technician, a very one of the old throwback of the old Eastern Bloc style. But uh, I must admit, this Sadakhanov is quite an attractive boxer, isn't he, Simon? Nice style. Yes, Pagliani, far from having it his own way. And Kazakhstan has looked so strong in these championships. Well, I did say we hadn't seen the best of uh, Pagliani yet here in Sydney and you know I don't think we're gonna see it to be honest with you it just it just seems a little bit flat yes he does sitting the pace but he doesn't seem to have too much idea well he seemed to score with a right there didn't register instead of which Sadakhanov registers with his and he's now looking very good indeed soon he'll be able to coast on that lead and counter punch to his heart's content 
And he's, he is a very definite counter-puncher, Satakhanov. As you can see, he's, he's, he's more likely to go back than he is to come forward. And it's, as you said, Sonny, it's been a very successful strategy so far. Yes, Pagliani, no. His first really hurtful punch, that follow-up left, which did score. And he's still within striking distance. Just two points adrift as we get to the halfway stage here. Well, good counter-punching from Satikhanov. Not such a good fight as uh, Tamsamani against Perez, but it's just as close. Just trying to think who might come out on top in that one. Um, the winner of this one against us, uh, uh, Tamsamani. I mean, <laughs> I fancy Tamsamani at the moment. Busy boy, isn't he? But then again, he's up against a, a different type of boxer, yes. um, a, a true counter-puncher. If Sadikhanov gets through... The bottom half of the draw is the uh, strongest, as we mentioned earlier. Somak Kamsing of Thailand, the Olympic champion, wonderful performer. Ricardo Juarez of USA, brimful of talent, the bottom half. Not forgetting the Cuban and the Russian. Yeah. <laughs> Terribly difficult, isn't it? It is. Hard pick. A little easier at the top half of the draw. Nothing's easy at this stage, though. Halfway point. And uh, Ramazan Pagliani still looking to close the gap. And it, uh, because he looks so flat, I, I wonder if he could. Ah, oh, interesting. These lead punch scores there. That hasn't often been happening. But you can see... It did have an immediate effect. Satakhanov's head jolted back. And now he's uh, in front. Well, isn't that a turn up? Oh. Much more aggression now from Pagliani. He stepped up the pace and he's been rewarded. And Sadakhanov would just better hope that he's smart enough to keep this as long as possible. Pagliani, of course, needs to close the gap. Sadakhanov doesn't. He just needs to sit back on that space. And that's the safe distance, the comfort zone, if you like. Again, Palani just edges in front. Oh, goodness me. What a punch that was. A right hand there. Really jerking back Palani's head and almost knocking his, his uh, head guard way off. Just uh, being straightened up. I thought he might get a standing count there. Tell you what, if he hadn't, uh, hadn't caught it, it'd end, end up in the cheap seats, wouldn't it? It would have. Hell of a punch, that one. Although they're not exactly cheap here. No, they're at $65 today. I think they are the, uh, the seats. What were you telling me for the final? 355 bucks. It's about 18 quid in English money. <laughs> <laughs> the Australian dollar's not doing too well, but it's not quite that bad. <laughs> but it's great for us. Fantastic. In every way. Nine each, then. As we come to the uh, close of this third round. And the last promises to be nip and tuck. And during that hiatus, they both were informed of the score. Of course, you can't see that down here, but there's lots of signaling going on around the place, and they've got spies all over trying to catch the cheats, as they call them. I don't, personally. The system is making them do it, and that's a shame. Yes. There's inevitably going to be spies. You inevitably can't stop it. It's just one of the... Uh, the low points if you have a scoring system like this and uh, there are many arguments for and against it I know you're not a big fan there are some who think it, it actually has improved things a little bit it's a little bit more open now whether it's more honest it's open to judgment yes let's not go there eh? <laughs> oh, we've done it haven't we <laughs> no, no. I think we uh, we're pretty clear on your opinion anyway into the final ride I think we've both agreed that this is pretty close yeah so uh, whatever route they've, they've yeah. got to this point it's They've got the right point. Sure. Nine yeah, each. So. Yeah, all to be settled on the last round, of course. But uh, who's your money on, Simon? 
I just have a feeling about Pagliani. Yeah, he's more experienced, isn't he, at this level? or well, this kind of level anyway. Sadakan also an up-and-comer. Final round there. Pagliani of Turkey in blue. Satakanov of uh, Kazakhstan now a point in front. And Pagliani, seven years older, of course, than this 20-year-old from uh, Kazakhstan. And we'll be calling on that extra experience, of course, to try and win this one and get a place in the semi-final. But a tough fight awaiting with Tamzamani. on his toe. Yes, that uh, often happens, of course, with an orthodox boxer against the South Ball. And another thing that happens as well that a lot of people may not appreciate is that, you know, you can throw, both throw your jab at the same time and collide in the middle, and it's very painful. Seen a few bits of damage done by that. Both looking a little cautious at the moment. One mistake could be crucial here. One minute to go, one minute away, both these two from a bronze medal. And still, 11-11 seems to be a fair reflection of what we've seen, but a lovely ride again there from Sanakarnov. Yes. Pagliani had his head jerked back. He can't afford to drop another point at this stage now. The Turk has got to come forward. Time beginning to run out on Pagliani. Bronze in the Olympics in Atlanta. It may not be a medal for him here. Oh, and again, a lovely punch there from Sadakanov, but the judges didn't uh, reckon that was a scorer. Of course, the, if the scores are level, it goes to count back to the individual judges scoring. Satakarnov, just a quarter of a minute away from a medal here for Kazakhstan. And if only he knew. One blow would do it for Pagliani. Not going to get it, is he? Doesn't look like it. Nope, he's run out of time. What a shame for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he should have done a little bit more, I think, in that fourth round. And Sadakarnov has created just a little bit of a surprise here. And it's the Kazakhstan who goes through. The Turks can't believe it. They now know what's happened. And for all his class, for all his experience, for all his achievement, Pagliani is out. No medal this time. And Sadakarnov will have a medal. The question is, what colour? And the look on uh, Pagliani's quarterman's face there, I mean, he looked absolutely furious. Didn't quite do enough. No arguments, he was desperately close, but I think they got the right winner. Well, we did say that Pagliani a little bit flat over the last couple of contests, and, you know, so it proved to be. Good winner, Sadikhanov, but a big question, can he beat Tamzamani? I've got a feeling his counter-punching style is made for Tamzamani. Yes. Tamzamani looking very impressive against uh, Perez.